All right, everyone, and welcome back. So we're going to be going over the factor nature of the POIs. So here we have the one hour time frame, right? So if we break down this point of interest here, where price came into, right? You notice that price hit the open of this POI. We also noticed they came down a little bit lower. Now what's in here? Why the price come down a little bit lower? So you go to a 30 minute, for example, right? You're going to notice, remember this blue box is the entire point of interest on the one hour. 30 minute, then we have the 15 minute. Then we have the five minute right here. Do that. In the five minute, we have this point of interest. Drag it across. The what price came into a POI inside of the higher time frame POI. Right. This was a one hour. Inside the one hour, we had a five minute POI. Now, again, these are just examples for you to understand the logic behind the fractal nature of the POIs. That's the, this is not how we refine our one of interests, right? It's just an example. So let's look into here. Go to the four hour actually. All right. Where did price come into? In here. There's a wick. Right. On this time frame, we don't see nothing. On this time frame, all we see is just a wick. But if we break it down on the one hour, what do we see? Right? We see order block. But yet, it's still in the same range of the four hour. So we go to a 30 minute. Still in the same area. See that? Nothing changes. In the 15 minute. Nothing changes. Still the same area. If we go to the five minute. Now it changed. It got smaller. The stop loss was the same. The only thing that changed was the entry. And let's see if price came into that. Yeah, yes it did. But notice how it came up a little bit higher. Why is that? Because there is another POI inside of this five minute, right? Let's go to the one minute. See if it lets me go there. Yeah, I did. All right, let's go to the one minute POI. So the one minute POI, the only thing that changed was just the entry just by a bit, by a pip. That was it. And that's the final POI on the one minute. Sure, you can go to a second time frame, you'll find a POI there and you will get something like this. Just like that, right? Now, again, this is not how we refine our POIs, just an example, okay? But as you see, there's a POI inside of a POI, all right? So here, where did price come into here? Did we play two? This is a 15 minute POI right there, all right? Go to the five minute. We can refine it just to this candle right here. There you go, that's it. The only thing that changed was the entry by a pip or so. Then, of course, if you go to the one minute, you're going to see a one minute POI. And of course, it didn't tap. All right. But again, we're not focusing on the refinements of a POI, just showing you the POI inside of a POI. I keep repeating myself because I want you to understand that this is not the refinement. This is just showing you the fractal nature of a POI and how we're able, or how people are able to catch these insane entries is by the refinement of the POIs. It's not our refinement, but it's just how the majority of people catch these entries, right? So let's go to another example. Let's see, let's go to the one now.
here to POI on the one hour time frame. Right there. 30 minute changed by a bit. And as you can see, obviously it doesn't go higher. So if you were finding even lower, you're not gonna get tagged in. Okay. But notice a POI inside of a POI inside of a POI. That is the fractal nature of a point of interest. All right. By now you should already get the point. The same thing as structure, same thing as liquidity. All right. Cycle within a cycle. Okay, it repeats over and over and over again. POI, lower time frame POI, lower time frame POI. And the same thing happens from the daily to the four, to the one, to 30. Same thing as from the monthly to the weekly, to the daily, to the four, to the one. All right, that's it for now. On to the next one.